Well, how about it, Suzuki maintenance freaks? I just got done doing my spark plugs. They were about, about a year and a half old, I think. So, uh, I was wanting to mention all of your grease points. Man, there's so many that could be overlooked, man. Come on. So if you're a Suzuki outboard maintenance freak like me, I'm going to show you one that I don't know if they all have it. I only know about mine. And no, I'm not a professional mechanic. I'm a shade tree or I'm a carport shade tree. But I'm just going to show you something because I noticed it myself is let me see if i can even show you okay i'm going to get out the the tactical flashlight and put on the tactical reading glasses all right if you've ever had your cowling off and you've looked down in there i'm hoping you can see that zerk fitting right there that is for your shifter and you can see that the little zerk has a little channel and the grease comes up inside that shifter mechanism now i have the ap model here where i've got the electronic shift that's this right here i believe that motor or whatever so you can see all your shift stuff down there but do you want to take off this god dang tupperware and all that crap just to give that a squirt of grease no well i've always wondered what this was right here this usually has this plug stuffed in it okay and I started looking and I'm saying, hey, is that there so you can stick a grease gun in? Okay, if you're following me, I know I'm just holding my GoPro up here. Well, it's not. Because when you turn this and you pull that plug out, there's that right there. Now, I have no earthly idea what that is. A freeze plug or something? I don't know. Because then if you look, I'm going to try to give you some light here. If you look, there's your grease fitting. But then if you notice, there's this big bump right there in the way. So your even grease gun won't even go in straight. Because that bump is, I don't know. That bump is some kind of reinforcement for some screw or something, if you're following me. I don't know if anybody's going to be following me here. But if you look right there, let me adjust the camera. If you look right there, it's not a straight shot to that Zerk fitting. Because you got that bump right there in the way. But it can be done. And here's what I have. Okay, I got the flexible grease gun hose. I got the rigid grease gun hose or pipe. And what I had to do is take this off, okay, because this piece goes into this piece and then this piece goes into the grease gun. And you have to do some just tactical ninja shit here, okay? But I found that because of the crink in there, that slight bend, that I could get this through there and just barely on that Zerk fitting. So that's what you got to do. The flexible thing didn't really work because there's just too, me too many thick metal pieces there, as you can see. All right, so that's one. 
The next one that is oh so important, and I've done videos on this before, is so you can get your lower unit off, is right where that light is. There is a Zerk fitting right there. And that is putting grease up into your, your drive shaft spline. As you can see, mine is all greasy and there's all kinds of grease up in there. Because if you forget about that and you're one of these kind of people who don't do no maintenance, let's say you've got your outboard you know, hanging from your dock. I mean, your your boat is hanging from your dock. And you go out and you kind of like use it, you know, like three times a year, maybe, or something. And you let it go like five years, 10 years, or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> and you can't, you gotta put it on a trailer, all that bullshit that you gotta do. I believe in trailer myself occasional in the water or hanging on a dock would be fine with me if I owned waterfront property occasional um, well your lower unit could get locked on there and Suzuki did not have that fitting they did not have that fitting I'll show you again they did not have that zerk right there and then they put it in there. They made a change. And this one right here, here's your dipstick. You follow along. There's this grommet that obviously goes to this plug thing here. Let me give you some more light. God dang, come on. Okay, it goes to that plug. It's not for this, but you can use it for this to get to that zerk right and then if you got the new teleflex uh, steering system they've got one here and it greases up in there on both sides because mine this is only a couple years old so they've made a change then okay my flashlight ain't working then of course you got one here on your tilt tube you got one on each side all right, you've got one right there also. I'm going to tilt my engine up and I'm going to give that a squirt. Then, of course, let's give you some perspective here. So you got those two on the steering tube. Oh, flashlight goes out again. Okay, then inside here, you got one right there see that light shining on it then of course you come down and you got this one here that squirts grease all inside of this piece of tupperware where else that's pretty much it i believe now you know what why does suzuki use washers like that that get kind of rusty I don't get it. I don't get it. So, this is just a reminder to Suzuki maintenance freaks, all right, of where your Zerk fittings are. So, just a short little vid. I'm out here doing my thing, changing my spark plugs. So, I figured I would. Do a little grease attack here, a little tactical ninja shit with the little tools that I do have. See, there's another. There's a grease fitting right there. Right, let me give you some light again. There you go, you got one right there on the steering. There's this one right here that's on the, I guess they call that the tilt tube or the steering tube. All right, do we have one up inside there? No. No. You used to have them, 
down here, I believe, in the in the old days. We kind of had them down here in the uh, in a trim and tilt, but I don't seem to see one. So, huh? Yeah, I remember back in the old days. I thought we always had one in there. All right. Well, either way, thanks for stopping by. If you are a Suzuki maintenance freak like me, then uh, I've got an entire playlist about maintaining my boat, my, my Suzuki and everything. Just click on my YouTube channel, go down to my boat, my boat playlist. It'll say boat playlist, you know, my alloy boat, my aluminum alloy boat and you can see there's a whole bunch in there about your anodes hey I'm just as lazy as everybody else there's an anode down in here I just really don't feel like taking this Tupperware off here I call this all Tupperware because that's what it looks like to me um, so I got a lot of maintenance videos so you can check them out all right. Thanks for watching. See ya.